We're counting down to the Oscars in just five days. Steve James gave us hoop dreams and Roger Ebert's life itself made right here in Chicago. Our Janet Davies caught up with the director at his West Suburban home as he gets set to leave for Hollywood. And Steve may finally be coming home with an Oscar. For best documentary feature, Abacus, small enough to jail. Did you let yourself get excited when you heard? Uh, well, I didn't like whoop for joy, if that's what you mean. But I was, I was very happy. Uh, Judy, my wife, um, was sitting there with me. Um, and she gave me a kiss, and then she said, I'm going back to bed. So... <laughs> When I was a lawyer, there was no bank owned by Chinese and serving the Chinese. For it to happen this time with Abacus was pretty sweet. And it did make me think back on all the work, really, um, and, and just how lucky I am to do what I get to do, you know, to, to follow the lives of people that I find quite extraordinary. The director and the Kartemquin team joined other nominees for the Oscar lunch. Were you starstruck? It, well, you know, you don't want to act starstruck. I mean, that's not the way to be. Steve James, best documentary feature, Abacus, small enough to jail. Steve was at a ringside table with Meryl Streep. When I met her, I said, it's so great that the Academy is finally honoring you with a nomination. You know, it's like her 21st nomination, so... And she stared at you. She, she, said, she smiled. I'm sure she's heard that joke a million times. And she said, right back at you. She, I'm sure she didn't realize that actually it was true in my case. So, <laughs> The filmmaker was Oscar nominated for editing Hoop Dreams in 1995. When the guy that won stood up to go collect his Oscar, I was sitting next to him. So I was, you know, briefly on national television with Judy. Steve would love to add an Oscar to his awards, but his reward is in telling compelling stories in his films. You know, I'm really looking at it as like, we're just gonna have a good time and celebrate being there and we'll see what happens. It looks like I might get a tux for free out of this. That's, that, that, so I'm, I'm gonna walk away from this with something is, is my goal. Janet Davies, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Here's our lineup for Oscar Sunday. Watch Eyewitness News at 4 at 4.30 on the red car carpet at the Oscars at 5.30. Oscars opening ceremony live from the red carpet. The main event, the Oscars at 7. And we'll be live from Los Angeles on Eyewitness News at 10. Okay.